In this video, I'm going to try to answer some questions that I've had about clipping photos inside of shapes using Gravit Designer. Let's jump right in. So here I've set up a very simple design, and what would really finish this off is a great stock photo. I have one copied to the clipboard, but what I want to show you is how to use vector shapes to clip images inside. For example, this circle, this is right where I want to put my stock image. And I have a much clearer way of how to do this now, and I'd like to show you in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in my image with a control V. And of course, I want to put it inside this circle. So what I can do is just make sure that my image is on top of my ellipse or my circle, then hold down shift and with both of them selected, and I selected them over in the layers panel, I'm using that layers panel to, to really help me isolate the different elements on my canvas here. With both of them selected, I can just go up here and click the clip button. And you can see that has clipped the photo inside of my ellipse. I can toggle down now the ellipse and you can see the image is inside of that in the layers panel. And that will allow me to move my image around inside of that shape without moving the shape itself. I'm going to back up and show you another way, maybe an easier way, a more clear way how to do this. All right, so I've got my image on my canvas. All I really have to do is use the layers panel again to click and drag that image inside of my ellipse layer. You can see it highlights the entire layer in the layers panel in that pink color or magenta. And if I just let go of my mouse button, it does the exact same thing for me as the clip button does. But maybe it's a little bit easier to do. You can clip multiple things into other shapes this way. So if I want to have this gradient rectangle here inside of that ellipse, I can just drag it, make sure it hovers over that and highlights in magenta, and then let go. Now I've got that gradient which is still a rectangle inside of my ellipse. And I can undo that just by dragging it back out. So using the layers panel can really help you understand what's happening when you're clipping shapes or clipping photos or clipping anything inside of other shapes. By the way, this will also work with text. If I grab my photo again and drag it over one of my text areas. So I'm dragging it outside of the ellipse that is it's currently being clipped inside and in, into one of my text elements. Now you can see in this headline, I have that photo being clipped inside of the text. So if you've ever wanted to create this kind of effect, maybe say with a pattern or a texture to add pizzazz to your text, this is how you can do it in a really fast and easy way. Now remember, this doesn't just work for ellipses and rectangles. You can create complex shapes using the pen tool, and that's how I usually cut out my photos in Gravit Designer. I'll create my shape right on top of my photo, and then drag my photo layer using the Layers panel inside that newly created shape. So if, if you've been having troubles clipping photos inside of shapes in Gravit Designer, use the Layers panel. It's really easy to do, and it, it really gives you a clear way of seeing what's actually happening. I can hover over a shape, make sure that, that layer highlights in magenta, let go, and it's clipped inside of that shape layer for me. I hope that's helpful. Thank you guys for watching and for your comments. It's very encouraging to get feedback on these videos, so I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.